Okay, folks, today I want to talk about linear diffusers. Uh, we here at Jones Air Conditioning, we do a lot of custom homes, custom condo jobs, and folks want linear diffusers because they actually look quite well. I just want to show you um, this couple here. This here is just a single slot, three quarter inch linear diffuser. I want to show you inside of this. Uh, these, these things come, they open and close. You, you direct the airflow. We're going to talk about airflow later in a different video. I want to talk about this diffuser. Just remember, everything with linear diffusers is custom made. So when you go to a house or a condo, you look at the uh, job that you're dealing with, you have to sit there and you have to size everything according to it for airflow for how much tonnage you got, how many rooms you got, how, many, how much square footage you got in the home. And just the general rule of thumb, I use one CFM per square foot. So I'm getting ready to do a house now. So my guy comes in and he's only got a three and a half ton system. So I count the rooms, he's got seven or eight rooms. So I basically go in and calculate each load. This particular gentleman wants everything extremely quiet. And I'm gonna show you in just a minute about this. And I'm gonna actually use inch and a half slot diffusers on his. I'm just gonna show you a template. This is a template for a three-foot linear diffuser, right here. What we, what we try to do is we actually cut templates for each individual job that we do. And I'll take them upstairs, and I'll go to the attic, and what we'll do, we'll actually lay, pretend this here is a stud wall. I'll lay the linear diffuser template here, then we just trace everything out. We just trace it right out. That way we can cut our sheetrock, and we have a perfect fit. This particular uh, diffuser here is for my return, and I have three inch and a half slot diffusers. So I have a, a four foot, excuse me, five foot, four foot, and a three foot linear diffuser template. These save a lot of time, guys. Take the time, get them cut, double check your measurements, and use these. Huge time saver right here. Here's just, a, here's just a couple of cans that we've got from the past. Just a uh, can I have laying around. Uh, another thing we do, sometimes we make them high because you've got to pretend once again um, this is a two before wall here. Okay? The, the linear diffuser can has to come up high enough to where you can get your cans in. You want to be able to put your collars in, okay? And we're going to talk about that. Collars is one of these things, when you put it in, you really don't want to use nothing more than a five or six inch can, excuse me, collar to feed these because what you got basically is 50 CFMs per square foot. So you, you, to keep that quiet, you don't want to oversize them. When you get into a larger diffuser like this one, you might get hit it with maybe possibly two sixes, okay? But we'll talk about that later. So. Here's one I just pulled off the shelf. We got plenty of extras up here. And I made this an extra high because this has had two for six trusses. Just want to make sure I can hit it. But also, taking it up high, it keeps the air a little bit quieter. You don't hit the grill as quite as fast, okay? Here's a linear diffuser for uh, my two slot. Let me show you. Should be this one right here. See how that's going to work out perfectly? When I set it up there in the attic, I'll cut my hole, it will go perfectly. See how that is? That's, that's great. Just, just a huge time saver. So now let's talk about uh, how these things are actually sized. So once again, once again we determine the tonnage, the square footage, and what size we need based on ceiling heights and other things. This particular house that we're doing, the inch and a half slots, the ceilings are about 18 foot tall. So you got room and aesthetically it won't look too bad, okay? So I'm gonna use a brand called Metal Air. Here's just my little template, my guide that I gave my guy. And actually, to see how the three slots are truly open, seven and three quarter inches. Three slots, seven and three quarter inches. I just got them different lengths, okay? The two slots are six inches. That's the true opening right here. Okay, so let's go. You, you can buy these grills. I use metal air because they're locally easily gotten here. You can buy a half inch slot. 
and those are for small homes, maybe, maybe condos, where you're gonna put in kitchens, three quarter inch slot, single slots can be for a living room or something, one inch slots. We are going to inch and a half slots in this particular show, and I'm gonna uh, show you what we got here. So look at this, inch and a half slots. I'm going two slots. Look at this, CFMs per linear foot. Now, because I'm gonna go with a two slot, I wanna keep my static pressure down below 0 0.05, okay? If you go any higher on the static pressure, you, you start maybe getting into a possible noise situation. So we're gonna come down. So my two slot, I can put 60 CFMs per linear foot. That's what LF stands for. 60 CFMs per linear foot, that is really only about a five inch flex. So if I wanted to put a five inch flex, excuse me, let's say I wanna, I got this room right here. This is my master bedroom, for instance. And I wanted to put 200 CFMs in the master bedroom. I actually would put a five inch flex here, 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 and here. You don't want to cram an eight inch flex into it because what will happen, it'll all try to come out in one spot. It'll, it will not be even and it'll whistle on you. You want everything nice and evenly distributed. Let me show you the rest of this. So by staying 60, less than uh, 60 CFMs per square foot, a foot or per foot I stay right here you see that right here that's less than 15 feet per minute it keeps the air quiet that way the customer will not hear this okay so always monitor let's just go over here let's just say we had a two slot and we wanted to go over here to uh, 90 CFMs he wanted to put a six inch flex in it well now here's the problem he, he's not guaranteed to be quiet. If he hits that with a six inch flex, he may get more uh, horizontal throw or more vertical throw, but then he's talking about making noise. It's really important. Linear diffusers work fantastically as long as you can't hear them. So when you go into your custom homes or your commercial buildings, I want you to look and see if you hear anything. If you hear anything, it's, you don't have your louvers open or you don't have it uh, set correctly. Now let's talk about the three slots. I put two slots on my supply and three on my return because you always have to return more air than you supply. You technicians and you, home, you owners know this. So we're going to go three slots, cubic feet per linear foot, 75 CFM. So here, once again, I can't put a six because a six is about 100 CFMs. I'm going to put a five inch. Five is about 50 CFMs. So if I get a house, that I have, let's say 300 CFMs, seven times five is 35. So I could put in five, five inch flexes to keep my noise down, okay? So I would take the same can, let's just say we use this, now we hit it five times. I would evenly separate it up and do five, five inch flexes for my return, okay? One thing I am going to say about the return filter, there is no filters in these linear diffusers. We usually put a 5-inch filter median system in the um, air handler, okay? So the, re the return filter is at the equipment itself. I'm just going to uh, show you something here. When you go to cut these cans, you really want to learn how to read the spec sheet, okay? Uh, let's just real quickly go over this. If you want a four foot can, you want to actually use the true measurement, which is 48 inches, okay? You would go true measurement, 48 inches, overall length, okay? And let me just show you something here. You know how I told you my slots? I got two slots here, all right? I'm going down to my D2 measurement. That's my true opening. So we go up here, the duck opening measurement. So if you follow these lines down, duck opening measurements right here that's going to be your six inches if you follow this scale right here you're going to do good let me show you the three uh slot here here's three slots d2 is seven and three quarters now that means let's talk about the uh three slot the outside dimension of the grill itself so if you cut it seven and three quarters 
you're going to have a three quarter inch lip around your cut opening so when your sheetrock gets all settled in and the painter gets done you'll have a, a three eighths of a lip on each side of your grill that we should cover it up okay and that's the screw right here we're actually talking about talking about this edge here okay so this edge right here that'll be all the way around okay that'll cover the cover it up the, the, that's why the template is so important. This template is, is extremely important. This is the best tool you got on the rough end is this template right here. Real quick, I'm just gonna to touch base with the, I showed you the black part of the interior grill once again. Let me just open this up. You wanna open this up to a certain direction because that's gonna direct your airflow, okay? You want to make sure your, your air deflection patterns are correctly. I may do a video on that just to help you guys out. But this is important. So you can't just slap those up when you get ready to trim them out. You got to make sure you direct the airflow to a certain level. And that's what these numbers here are. It's your throw, it's your throw patterns. Okay. Depending on how you throw it, horizontal is going to be 10, 22, and 38. I saw a video on uh, line for a gentleman. He did a great job. I'm going to see if I can get that site for you so we put it on there but anyway that's important the biggest thing is don't go this number in order to keep this perfectly quiet we you know we've done a lot of leaner diffuser jobs I, all i'm trying to do is i've had some calls people wanted me to help them figure this stuff out and how they go about sizing it and how many cfms per foot and you know the, the rule of thumb is one CFM per foot, 50 CFMs per linear foot. A lot of times we run a trunk line. I will do a video on that. We run a trunk line. We run a long trunk line, and I'll feed everything out with five and sixes, nice and neat, because we want everything quiet. We want everything neat. We, we cut these in a certain way to make sure everything's neat and clean and perfect. If you have any questions, just go to our website, jonesairconditioner.com, and look it up. and. Uh, if you like this, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.